Whether one faces inflation or deflation depends on where they are in the marketplace. For the vast majority, depending on wages and income, inflation has and will continue to be a killer. For those depending on inflation to carry out their theft, i.e. the supposed elite, deflation is the risk as default becomes the norm throughout their broken and highly self-serving economy. Deflation will eventually bring them back to earth, and this is their great fear. They will destroy their respective societies in a mad attempt to keep the party going, thinking themselves above the fray and failing utterly to understand their dependence upon the working class, as they are a class that produces nothing but profligacy. The cabal care not about money, they can push a button for as much as they need. Their new world is about control, not finance. The party is just to keep you distracted. And the simplest way to resolve a debt is to devalue the basis for the debt. In this case, the US dollar. Inflation is the preferred tool. The US dollar is the original shitcoin with an unlimited supply, inflation at any time controlled by a small group, no accountability to the holders, and backed by violence instead of assets. We are in a debt-based, debt-soaked system that requires continual growth of dollars to satisfy the debt. But then the creation if those dollars makes the debt even deeper, so more dollars are created, thereby making the debt even more significant. We have reached a point of negative return on new dollars created. All systems of exponential growth come to an end. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. You are here for your daily dose of the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Please take a second to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to also hit the notification bell. Thank you. Rumors has it Deutsche Bank files for bankruptcy. Deutsche Bank is the most significant domino in Europe's very shaky financial system. When it fully collapses, it will set off a chain reaction that nobody is going to be able to stop. David Wilkerson once warned that the financial collapse of Europe would begin in Germany, and Jim Rogers has warned that the implosion of Deutsche Bank would cause the entire EU to disintegrate. If this did, in fact, take place, prepare for economic upheaval, the likes of which this world has never seen. There are also rumors that the Fed has been feeding Deutsche Bank in order to delay the fallout. Currencies are trading in a false paradigm. It is the coordinated collusion of the major central banks that have allowed this charade to exist. It is essential to understand that wealth is contained within a rather closed system. System of fiat money by laws and rules that discourage freedom of movement into tangible assets. This has sheltered currencies from a storm of volatility. The failure or significant repricing of any of the world's four major reserve currencies will destroy the myth that major currencies are immune to the same fate that has haunted so many currencies throughout history. Simply put, when the nations granting them have proven unable to control their budgets, their currency is crushed under the weight of debt. In 1971, with the so-called Smithsonian Agreement, a final attempt was made to save the old system when the United States devalued its currency against gold and a series of other currencies. However, soon thereafter, it became evident that there was no chance of revival for the old regime. In 1973, with the adoption of the new rule that each country could choose its own currency arrangement, the Bretton Woods system was officially declared as dead. Since then, the US dollar has entered into a long decline. 1971 turned the exorbitant privilege into an outright scam, theft on a massive scale from other countries to the US. Their currencies had to be backed by goods or services, we just printed ours. Accelerating now, with counterfeiting by the Fed to the trillions of dollars, abandonment by Congress of any sound fiscal management. The miracle is we got away with it for so long. But we might be the biggest victim, wrecked productive capacity, massive social trauma, absurd financialization of our economy. The scam is so big and so bad now the status quo is disintegrating. Sooner the better. When America starts using the banking system and the currency as a weapon, other countries look for ways to protect themselves from the aggressor that has a significant impact on that targeted country. Venezuela is a victim of US policy of blockades to banking returning their assets from foreign banks, blockade of ships carrying food or exporting their oil, etc. What did Venezuela do to America that is inflicting so much suffering on the people of Venezuela? The world watches and worries not to become a victim of US dollar policies in retaliation for whoever, whatever America decides to inflict suffering on. The Federal Reserve Bank is not just a cartel but a criminal cabal no different than a mafia crime family. 
With the families Rothschild, Rockefeller, and Warburg at the top, running the continuous wars worldwide for over a hundred years. When someone threatens their control of the central banks, as JFK did, they finished him. The problem for the Fed and the debt-ridden US economy is that it cannot stand any loss of dollar funding or debt expansion. When Saudi Arabia starts taking euros or yuans instead of dollars for its oil, the sheet is really going to hit the fan. By slamming 60% of the world with sanctions, America is driving the world off the dollar and into alternatives. Europe called the USA's bluff. They set up a banking mechanism to trade with Iran. This is their move to get oil in their euro dollar. America is sanctioning Iran, Russia, and the little nations like Syria who trade against the sanctions. But China, France, Germany, and Turkey are still trading with Iran, and it is public knowledge. Now you will have to pay your massive debts off in their currency if we don't get the Fed to buy all of the outstanding debt and then bankrupt the Fed. We and our children will be slaves to the world. This is precisely why they're so desperate to have war with Iran. It is also why the US invaded Iraq, Saddam was threatening to trade off the dollar, similar for Libya. The banking cartel controls all. I read that 80% of all the 100 United States dollars bills in existence are held outside the USA. I found that to be an eye-opening stat. What if all the stashed away US dollars came out of all of the mattresses worldwide? That happened in post-war Germany. So we already know. Just a matter of time. Reserve currencies are the last to come out of the mattress. That's why they are called reserve currencies. The reciprocal of Gresham's law is that the least ugly currency will be the last one spent. The least dirtiest shirt in the laundry, the best looking cow in the slaughterhouse. All are swirling around a giant and growing debt drain. Exorbitant privilege. Party on while you got it. In economics, Gresham's law is a monetary principle stating that bad money drives out good. For example, if there are two forms of commodity money in circulation, which are accepted by law as having a similar face value, the more valuable commodity will gradually disappear from circulation. That is indeed one of the roles of the global reserve currency. The man saves US dollars, not British pounds, French francs, Spanish whatevers, or any of the previous global reserve currencies. And soon he'll be trading those US dollars for something else, possibly Chinese yuan. No mystery. The Reserve Bank has printed up vast amounts of debt and lent it to the rest of the world at irresistible interest rates. And anyway, tin pot dictators are very happy to spend up big and leave the debt to future generations. But now, once the needle is in, the debts are reeled in. And they must be paid in dollars. The object is the conquest of other countries and their resources, the Fed couldn't give two hoots about their script. Foreign banks also create US dollars by loaning them into existence. Then when the person that owns those US dollars as digits in their bank account wants some cash, they go to the bank. The bank gives them some US cash that they got from the Fed. Then when that same person needs to pay back that loan, they need the principal and interest. Where do they get it? They need more dollars than their loan created. If there are enough new loans creating dollars within their country, then there are enough dollars floating around to pay back their loan with interest. But if credit creation has dried up, there is a dollar shortage in their local currency craters. It has been happening around the world for the last couple of years. Currency crisis due to dollar shortages. We have to get rid of the corrupt central banks and the fiat system. Everyone, countries, and corporations keep pushing the debt around, and ultimately, the people end up paying for the horrific greed in the fiat system. The system has to implode, but they will not allow some bullcrap system to take over from it. In the past, as in Babylon, they also had a fiat, usury system, but had frequent debt jubilees because if you couldn't pay your debt, you had to work it off as a slave, they eventually got too many slaves. Nearly every new ruler would declare a debt jubilee. Besides getting your money out of the banking system, get out of any accounts that have a tax liability to the government, i.e., IRAs and 401ks. They are likely all inequities now. When the time is right for the government, they could convert those to bonds paying little or no interest. The government is broke, and they want, need the money from these accounts. And there is a lot of money tied up in these accounts. Pay the tax now, and get out. This was the Atlantis report. Please like. Share. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. 
You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have already donated. Stay safe and healthy friends.